Alrighty guys, so we have a uh, Xbox One S and it's a, uh, powers up, nothing on screen, so let's test her out. So it definitely looks like there's a faulty hard drive in here. So let's swap this hard drive. Brand new Western Digital, one terabyte. Terabyte. Now, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to restore this thing now because at one point um, Xbox was rather difficult to restore. Now, they've taken a cue from. Uh, Looks like PlayStation and gave us the ability to restore this thing from scratch. So, of course, you get the uh, good old E106. Let me find my Xbox flash drive there. This is the uh, latest OSU1. Downloaded it yesterday. And now, it's as simple as this. Plug her in. Connect my uh, non wireless controller. And. There we go. Um, you didn't even have to put it in safe mode, just simply turned it on. Go to troubleshoot. Offline update. And I'm not going to cut the video out, so it's going to take a few minutes. You go ahead and watch to show you uh, how easy it is to restore now in 2020. Um, at one point, obviously, um, Xbox, Microsoft changed the procedure. I don't know exactly when this was. And I'm thinking in the last six months, others have said. Um, as early as uh, 2019 January um, but I'm pretty sure within the last six months I've tried to not use script as far as uh, you know master 7 8 or 9 adding all the scripts formatting the hard drive placing all the files on the different XYZ adding the boot and animation 
Um, doesn't look like you have to do that any longer, guys. So, thank you, Microsoft. Hey, Rob, I finally got the silver bitch under you. <laughs> you finally got what? <laughs> the, the sock. <laughs> like the spring thing? I put it in there. I was like, oh, fuck. I'm like, eh. Okay. I, I couldn't do it with my hands, too, because I don't have enough oh, okay. power. So I, I took one. I took a damn uh, like a tire. And then, yeah. You, but you managed to get it down? <laughs> yes. And then it went in? Yes. Well, the reason for that is so it doesn't come off, come off. whenever you adjusted it back and forth. Really? So I had to use a client. It's like... You have, to, you have to use the power of that. But answer. once you know, then the next time you want to do it, you know what yeah. what, what to do and where to apply the force. Oh, man, I said they had to, I had to use the pie to pry it. And I used my face to put it down. Like, you know? <laughs> Some of them are harder than others. <laughs> that, was, that was weird, man. It was, it was kind of, it was kind of, man. I was like, what the hell? Hydro flash suppressor. Uh -huh. That's basically the same thing, just name. No. Because when you're trying to hide oh, the yeah, flash, 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 flash suppressor, flash hydro, same thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, th I thought you were talking. Um, there's a thing called muscle break. Yeah, muscle break. That's muscle that's, break. Not muscle break. So it basically you don't you, you don't have feel lesser, as lesser. You don't feel as much recoil. Mm -hmm. yeah. It stabilizes, so it's. But it doesn't do much for hiding flash. No. But then again, a flash hider doesn't do much for muscle breaking either. No. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, I said. Uh, uh, Flash hide or flash suppressors. Same thing. They the hide a little bit, but won't completely. It depends on your ammo. Yeah. Your, if you got some ammo that burns slower, the powder burns slower, a lot of it's going to burn outside the barrel. That's a flash. So, yeah, it depends on the ammo, too, but flash hide or flash suppressors, same thing. Um, flash up, flash up. AR 15s really don't need muzzle brakes. The muzzle brake, they don't have that much recoil. The AR 15 doesn't have. When you get to the 308, then you need a muzzle brake. But just the 5, 556. Mm -hmm. That ain't hurting nobody. You know, it ruins your shoulder or nothing. You know what? Not like shooting a shotgun. All right, come on, baby. Come on, baby, let the good times roll. No, 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 dude. One killed himself. 
Yeah, the other but one's the other one's still alive. alive. Yeah, the other one's still alive. Maybe. And he's still suited. He's still a big person. He's not, you know, he's taking it and spreading on his heart or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he's still, he still makes big records of the concerts. Of course. It's, and it's actually his thing. Yeah. Did you ever watch one? Did you ever watch the documentary on those guys? They were really duped. They were they were duped. They, they were duped. Well, not they were duped. They know that they were duped. They well, they, well knew, but they, they, they said there was so much money in Ray Chatham, and for three, they essentially made a deal with the devil. Mm -hmm. And uh, but they kept getting promised, oh, we'll let you record, we'll let you do one, we'll let you know, we'll let you do the songs, we'll let, you. and then they'd bring in other singers or whatever. They got, they got these. But they said, well, some of the flashes around that time. And the other thing is, too, at that time, those guys were like living like paupers. They were. Well, I, I'm sorry. What did you just say? They were. They've been like, what? The Lily guys? Like, the Fab, Fab Morvan and the Lily guys? I don't remember the name, but. I don't know, but they were living like what? Paupers. Oh. I didn't realize this was like 16th century <laughs> Europe. <laughs> <laughs> They were like, like paupers. They were like living in blacksmiths. In, in, uh, well, at one point, there, what's the name of that one town where they have Oktoberfest in Germany? Um, Wiener Schnitzel. They were living in some German town. And uh, they were doing modeling. And they were getting paid, you know, for a photo shoot. And it'd be just enough to cover that month of rent. They didn't have any food. So they used to go to restaurants where they'd serve, they'd bring bread out to the table. You know, it's like complimentary bread. Mm -hmm. They put it on the table. They'd order like ah. a drink. So they'd sit there and they'd have some drink. That would be their meal. That's you know? what we did. Because <laughs> they couldn't afford to buy food. So they'd go somewhere where it had complimentary appetizer. Chips and salsa. Could we have some more other things? Chips and salsa are my favorite. I don't understand why. Whenever I go out to a restaurant, I'm going to get chips and salsa. Is that a Mexican thing? I, I guess. But is that what it is? I know that. I know this. I mean, it's not like I grew up eating chips and salsa. My mom made fresh chips and salsa every day. No, I don't. No, you're right. I think it's a Mexican thing. But I knew this lady when I lived in Southern California. Like when I was in my teens, and she would go. She would. If you went to a restaurant with her, I remember we used to go there. We would go out. Sometimes she'd go out to dinner with us or whatever for her family. And she would literally fill up on chips and salsa and just it would be non-stop from the time they set up the table to the time they brought her food and then they didn't want her food she always got her food to go it was like you, you could you know that's a, that's a part like biscuits with the, with the bread you're just like oh yeah or what was it in uh vegas we eat the, the bread and the little yeah the cheesy bread oh yeah the cheesy bread was great dude. I was gonna fill up on bread before I ate the food. <laughs> that was just way too much food. Yeah, we, should, we, brought, food. we should have had two meals, at, not for me. <laughs> that third one killed us, man. I'm telling you. I, and, and you know, and I, I didn't think it had. You know, y'all were like, "Yeah, we'll get three. I was like, "Okay." Hell. Well, man. we kind of did. We wanted to make sure that everybody had. No, one. sure, sure, sure. But yes, yeah, no. But no, the, like the salad was. That salad was enormous. Yeah, that would be. Five of us sitting at the table couldn't eat that salad. <laughs> no, man. No, no. <laughs> That's a salad, man. <laughs> Everybody's pulling food off of it, and there's still more. <laughs> it won't stop. It won't go away. <laughs> no, that was good stuff, man. Really good. What just happened? Man, some of these fucking optics are fucking ridiculous to this person, dude. Like EOTech and Trijicon? Yeah, well, Trid no. Trijicon is the box man, and Eotech. Yeah, those are the two like five hundred dollars plus. Yeah, those are the two biggest names, the two biggest. Oh. Well, and they have military contracts. Yeah. Okay, so both have military contracts, so. Yeah. so Some people were saying that when they were restoring it, they weren't given the boot up sequence or the boot up animation, such as this. Um, but they did say on the next update that Microsoft puts out, when they update it, the boot animation shows up. My boot animations showed up. 
ever since I've had it. Some people say they weren't showing up, but the next update would actually um, fix the boot animation. So there you go, guys. Um, very simple to restore. No more messing with scripts. No more using Master 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just uh, put a new hard drive in and restore it like any old PlayStation. So, either good job Microsoft or somebody at Microsoft screwed up. We don't know. But either way, it works. There you go, guys.